I'm about to do the most challenging thing I've ever done. My team and I are going to run 5,000 feet down and 20 miles across the Grand Canyon. During the summer, temperatures deep in the canyon can reach over 115 degrees Fahrenheit. If I'm going to survive, then I must prepare for the task at hand. I'm going to need all of this. I pack myself an assortment of survival gear, including medical supplies, tools, and anything that might help me brave this ambitious journey. I like to put all my emergency stuff in a small little go bag. Very important. I'm going to need to purify water on today's adventure. I can only bring so much water with me and I'm gonna need a whole lot more than what I could fit in my pack. Whole lot of gel. Candy. I use this as a reward system for super adventures. I'll explain to you later why I'm bringing all this candy. Let's go. I then proceeded to meet up with the team who will be joining me on this adventure. Hey, what's that happening? Rock and Rolls Rock and Rolls Runner Club. There they are. Rolls Royce Toners Club. I have a beanie. <laughs> 20 miles ahead of us about 5,000 feet of elevation. All right, meet today's running team. Here we go. Boom. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Go, yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Woo. <laughs> we are officially starting from the top of the south rim of the Grand Canyon, down to the bottom, and then all the way back up. Jeff, you ready to do this? You ready, brother. All right, get get let's, let's go. So far, so good. We're we're gonna look this good in about six hours too. Let's go. Everybody's happy, feeling good. I have a feeling by the end of this run, we might have some changes in attitude. Jay is our, our resident athlete. Well, I'll say I'm kind of out of my element because I'm usually flat surface road racing. This is incredible, man. It's like, you grow up hearing about the Grand Canyon. And we're doing all of it, guys, like the whole thing. Hiking the Grand Canyon is incredibly dangerous. Not only is there a risk of falling, as well as lethal exhaustion and dehydration, the National Park has declared that one of the biggest dangers to hikers is flash flooding. So we need to be careful because at any point, we run the risk of facing extreme dangers. We are gonna stop a couple times for the views, guys. You got to. <laughs> Max, out to the front of the park. This is so sick. Look at this one. Check this out. Unbelievable, right? Oh, um, dude, we're doing it. Yes. All right, guys, we gotta keep going. So here are some of my strategies for a successful trail run today. Number one, take care of my feet. Want to really be sure to not roll any ankles. Two, stay hydrated. Even when you're not thirsty, got to keep the water flowing. Three, calories. Brought a lot of uh, gels along with some other snacks. So I'm going to be grazing throughout the entire 20 miles, especially when we start hitting that ascent at the end. Feels easy so far. Yeah. I think the view is carrying us right now. Absolutely. Wait till I climb out. <laughs> I should make it out of this. Keyword should. You may be wondering why everyone's so cautious of coming back up. 2%, only 2% of people who run and hike the Grand Canyon make it all the way down to the river. The reason for this is because there's no escape from the canyon once you descend. If you go down, you yourself must get back up. There is no exit, no helicopter, no rescue. The deeper we go, the more we put our lives on the line, which has forced hikers and runners into living by the motto, Ascension is mandatory. So that is the Colorado River, which of course is not only famous for creating the Grand Canyon, but supplies the water to over 40 million people on the West Coast. So this is a very important valley to a whole lot of people. But look at how much work it's done over time. I mean, geez. Hour in, we have perfect weather. Drop some knowledge on like why you do this stuff. Community and adventure. Those are two of my core values. And as I'm getting older, I'm realizing how to find special and unique people. And you find them in communities that you haven't been exposed to. You find all these really inspirational people that get you fired up and you keep pushing each other to do wilder things. You start affecting people around you to live more positively, take better care of themselves. And then this becomes your lifestyle before you know it. It ain't bad. So I just keep saying yes. Dude, I love it. And that's guys, that's how I ended out here. Got to talking about our adventures and then here we are in the middle of the Grand Canyon. Always push yourself because you never know what you're capable of until you try. Oh my God, this life. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Ball cap, guys. 
get a little sleepy on this bean right now. All right, officially change hats. That means we're getting aggressive. First energy gel on this run. In the middle of this, there's a place called Phantom Ranch. I don't know if this is just a tall tale to get us motivated. So far as we're told, Phantom Ranch serves lemonade. We're making good progress heading down the canyon. Love it! But I need to conserve my water and save my energy for what's to come. Got my first piece of candy going. Sour apple high chew. My little reward system that I have. Pick a place on the trail and I'm like, get to there, get a treat. Bread crumb my way with candy. All right, we're getting close to the bottom now, Unreal. but I was not prepared for what comes next. We gotta stop here. There's a mule train coming by. In the Grand Canyon, the only way to really get supplies is by mule line. That was cool. There's a cave. Guys, look at this tunnel. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. You guys feel like Indiana Joe's right now? <laughs> Unbelievable, crossing to Colorado, guys. All right, we are 7.34 miles in, just about two hours. We're officially at the bottom. We finally made it all the way down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon, what 98% of people wouldn't dare attempt. There's no giving up now. Unfortunately, I've already consumed over 50% of my water, and the difficult part is only just about to begin. All right, guys, bad news. Phantom Ranch is closed. The lemonade was a myth. <laughs> was lemonade a lie? Yeah. Well, no, it was a lie, it just closed. Son of a- Who needs lemonade anyway? About to recross the Colorado River, which means we're gonna be going up really soon. And we start the ascent. Here we go. It's about to get brutal. We're burning. We are burning. The impact really burns up your legs. I'm feeling it. Now I feel like some blisters starting it. Don't worry though, it's gonna be fine. It's the longest distance I've ever done. So I'm trying to keep it in perspective, give myself a little grace, realize that I'm running with like insane runners. These guys are pros and run a lot of marathons. I'm the rookie. So I'm holding myself to some rookie standards, but don't think I'm getting off easy. I still gotta get out of here on my own power. Ascension is mandatory. I'm starting to struggle, guys. My legs are getting fried. We're 9.4 miles in. Quick status update. It's getting brutal. Really gonna manage all the energy for the next water fill. Wow, first stop from being petite. 10.3, over halfway. So I made it over halfway, guys, without taking a stop. This is bad. This is really brutal. Oh, I'm 11 miles in, six to get to the rim, but it's all uphill. It's all very, very steep. This is like the danger zone. This is where I have to be really careful. Hydrate, energize, take breaks do what I need to do to get to the top. Oh good, there's shade. I need this shade badly. Oh gosh, guys, when I was out in that sun going up, I was really getting scared. I uh, started to feel nauseous for the first time and my water's running low, so I have to conserve it. But hopefully we're close to the refill. I need to saturate at that refill, drink a lot of water. God, the stress on my body from this is really starting to take its toll. I'm falling behind fast, and I've lost sight of all my teammates, guys. Unfortunately, right now, I'm so just gnarled and tired and zapped that if I feel like, I feel like if I eat any sugar, it's just gonna make me sick. I'm gonna toughen out until the water fill station, guzzle a bunch, eat some food, take a breather, and then push on. I don't know. If I'm the last one, I think Mike might be back there still. I don't know who's where. I know I've lost Max in that pack and now I got passed by Jeff. Thank you, Goo. Oh, 
Doesn't taste nearly as good as the first one. I made it to the straightaway to where the water's gonna be. Time for a little high chew treat. Oh yeah, waterfall. Yes, so those little rewards, guys. Life lesson right there. Work hard, grind, push, do what you gotta do. But always, always take a moment to reward yourself for the hard work. It's what you deserve. And it does a lot to keep you going. Uh, I don't feel too good. I feel like if I eat any sugar, it's just gonna make me sick. Made me nauseous. <laughs> I thought I was gonna throw up there. Oh, I got lightheaded. More water. That's the last of the water. I'm on my own until I get to the water stop, guys. Oh man, say a little prayer for me. Nothing like a good reminder of your impending doom. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Guys, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh my god, is that what I think it is? Yes! After about 12 miles, oh, let's get some water. I finally managed to find a working water pump and was able to fill up my water bag. Gotta fill it all the way up. This is the last water. Feeling better having this break. Refilled and hydrated, I'm now ready to continue walking. However, in doing so, I've lost a lot of time. My teammates are way ahead, and now something even more dangerous is following my tail. The weather's not looking good. I wanted to check in with you at four hours and 20 minutes because this is the record time to run the whole trail. Whoever set that time is just unbelievably impressive. Good job, whoever did that. And it's gonna get intense. So buckle down. The final pain train is leaving the station. My legs are just pulp. I don't know. This is where the doubt really kicks in. Ooh. The goo is just not doing it. By the fifth one, just not good. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Couldn't finish it. Switchbacks are murderous. Oh, sorry, positive vibes. I'm gonna make it. Let's see what we got. 15.1, I am brutalized. The grade is just unbearable. My legs have been shot since 11 miles in. I'm so close to finishing my hike of the Grand Canyon, but the storms are forming right over my head. I have to make it up to the top before it starts to downpour. Almost there. Okay. I gotta get going. I did bring a poncho. The weather's coming in. Just that little bit. Anytime I can run, guys, I will. Believe me, I'm trying to get there. All that way. We are so close. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Yes, 20, baby. After 20 full miles and narrowly just beating the rainstorm, never doubt yourself. My team and I managed to accomplish what most people haven't dared attempt. Yes. We survived and hiked the entire Grand Canyon from top to bottom. So yeah. Broke my legs, but not my spirit. That's there, you there you go, there you go. And what oh, better God. way to end the journey? That's the good one. I need a day with s'mores. <laughs> Best day of my life. Not just the marshmallow. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> not and by cooking up some s'mores around a fire with the rest of the crew. This is Mark Finns, be brave, stay wild, and I'll see you on the next adventure.